Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a solar panel here and I have an old well it's not that old it's a power supply it, and it's for PC this is from Cushair and it's a 600 watt power supply um, if you want to run a computer of solar panels it's not a good idea to put it through a um, power supply like this because the solar panel like this one it produces 18 12 volt ish it produces more than that but well you get kind of 12 volt out of it and um, to get a power supply like this running here in Denmark you need a uh, 230 volts so first you have to use an inverter to convert the, the voltage from 12 volts and up to 230 volts AC and then you use the power supply and you convert it down to 12 volt, 5 volt and 3.3 .3 volts I think that comes out of this thing why not go the direct route? outside here on my outside workbench I have a, a system board um, placed on a box and here is the power supply for it this is a 12 volt to computer converter power supply let's see what's in this so I bought this um, from China and it came in just the other day and I've actually set this up and made sure that it kind of works so it comes with some cables that is needed for the PC and here is the power supply itself uh, what it does is that it takes in 12 volts uh, from over here and it has all this electronics and it steps up and down the voltage most of the 12 volt is just regulated through you want it to be able to take in maybe 13 volts maybe 11 volts um, I forget which what the ranges are but you want it to deliver very nice and clean 12 volt out to the to the system over here uh, the same thing with 5 volts so um, yeah and this is a um, 250 watt power supply that's not a lot um, but it's way more than you need to run a, a normal PC without a graphics card as long as you don't put in a beefy graphics card you are usually good if you put in a ton of hard drives and stuff like that well you're getting up there so let's mount this uh, we need all these cables that, that goes out of here this is kind of the main cable that goes from from the board down here and up to the system board so we need to put that in in the right order and um, yeah this one goes in here like there these are the things that goes to the computer this one is the one that is going to be powering us so we're gonna pop that in it um, it has a ground inclination um, I believe that's probably for a case or something like that so but we don't have that I can't ground it to my wooden table here so and um, power goes in through this plug here it doesn't come with the connectors uh, other than this one then there is this connector which can go from well if the motherboard needs some more power it can go um, it can go up there but there is actually also one right here that can go and supply the the motherboard with some more power which is usually um, used when you when you have a graphics card so let's pop that one in so we have part that one so we have a connector here for there is a couple of Model X connectors for hard drives the old system the newer system and yeah floppy drive this one uh, we can plug in over here that goes in there cool on this system I, I haven't found a use for this one so we're gonna put that back in the box if I ever need that so now we need to power it and I have a battery here it's a um, it's a 12 volt battery it comes out of an old UPS well this battery is 10 years at least so it was replaced but as the battery has never been used because you don't really use UPS's um, well it should be good to go I also have a hard drive on this 
um, I would recommend an SSD I have one here but um, so I have an old spinning drive here which of course uses more power than an SSD would use so it's not optimal but yeah it will do the job it will it will spin and uh, which is beneficial for video work you can actually hear that it's doing something um, there I'll put that there safe and good right then we need to power it and I have um, I've mounted some some clips over to a power connector this is way too thin and everything but well I found that it worked anyway so uh, we're gonna power that I have disconnected this connector here so when we power the battery we will see light there's a blue light here there's nothing on the system board as such okay so now we're kind of ready to turn this on I'm gonna check the monitor here uh, the monitor runs on its own battery it runs on a 7.2 volt battery behind could of course also power a monitor this way most uh, I do believe this monitor has a 12 volt plug so I could just plug it in but yeah it runs on its own battery so monitor is not included in this and um, so now we just power it on it has a little press button here and when you press that you saw the fan moving it, it will try again and then we should get something on the screen ever so shortly there we are it's an old system board um, but right now we are running from oh post era unknown good yeah we're just gonna go for that that's fine I don't care but we are running off this battery over there uh, the system board itself doesn't have a graphics card so I've had to put in a graphics card this is an Nvidia Quadro 410 it's a very small graphics card it um, it doesn't even need external power so it, it was good for this little test this is very efficient you can now see that it's it's loading Windows 7 here and we can measure how much goes into the into the system board now I'm gonna just zero that out there zero and we can measure that so right now we are pulling four and a half amp times 12 volts yeah so my setup is that the solar panel out here which is located on this chair which is not getting a lot of sun because it's very cloudy today but it's getting some uh, I do believe the sun is just overhead of us so um, this is a hundred watt solar panel it um, I doubt it that it would be able to deliver a hundred watts but we are running the wires from it over here and it goes up to this cheap 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 Chinese charge controller which is now down to 12 volts I have been testing this uh, it's um it's it's putting a strain on it the solar panel is only I think I saw it delivering 0 0.8 amps to the charge controller which is then again charging the battery over here which is then powering the computer which is running Windows 7 so if I for example wanted to um, use this solar powered system for cryptocurrency mining um, I would not be able to power that with this power supply that it, it doesn't give out enough power but I could power the system board and I can also power and I can also power a little bit of, of slots here and I would replace this hard drive with a really cheap SSD something yeah you don't need much you need like 20 gigabytes or something to to boot that up maybe just a, a tiny little dongle that could go down there and then you need some graphics card and you can you can put in these these are kind of um, PCI Express ports that you can put in your system board and then you can put a full graphics card in one of these you can kind of see this motherboard down here it's so old that it does actually have some PCI uh, slots here one two three and the one for the for the for the graphics card which is actually an x16 um, but otherwise it has all PCI uh, slots up there that's 
won't be as good. So if you wanted to power a big graphics card like like this one, this is not good for for um, cryptocurrency mining. It would be great for something else, but it uses a lot of power. So you could put this in and that can be powered. It has its own power connector there because the card itself needs some power coming up that way. And then the card has external power that you need to plug in. Uh, this one just has one uh, six pin, which means that the, the card here, it needs 75 watts. It needs 75 watts coming in this way and it needs 75 watts coming in that way. So this card is about 100, well, 150 watts. I'm not sure, it, maybe it does not use all of that, but it can, it has that available. These normal slots supplies 75 watts in a PC and the extra power connectors coming out of the power supply. Well, the six pins, they are 75 watts and the eight pins, they are 150 watts. So with this thing, we would be able to put that on our graphics card here. Then we would need to power it down there. It uses a normal USB connecting, but this is just a cable. Don't plug any USB in here. It's nothing but a cable. It goes over and it converts to this little PCI Express X1, which you mount on the motherboard. And then you use the cable, which just happens to be USB, but is not USB. It's just a cable that is used and it's a nice cable because, well, it's widely available. Um, but it's really stupid that they did use that. So yeah, that one can go on to the system board. Then you just need some external power for the graphics card. And this is just clean 12 volt power. The yellow wires are positive and the black wires are negative. Not completely sure if it's safe to take it directly from a battery, but otherwise a 12 volt regulator will do the job. And they are very cheap and widely available from China. So with not a lot of sun coming in, unfortunately this solar charge controller doesn't show me anything. It just tells me that what the voltage is, which is of course better than nothing. I haven't got enough sun coming in to even run this tiny system. So I need to do a bit of an improvement, um, a tiny one. I have this running in quite a test setup. So first from the battery, I have some test leads going over to this connector over here that goes into this plug down here, which goes into this cable over here. So for a tiny improvement, I'm gonna remove the test cables and I'm gonna make so that I can just have that plug going directly into the battery. So I'm gonna mount some crocodile leads on, on these ends, like like these two. It's it's a tiny improvement. We, yeah, I should really take this apart, but it's so nice. So while we are making this improvement, the, the solar panel is charging up the battery a little bit. So I'll be able to test again. These batteries has been sitting for a, a couple of years and they have been discharging themselves. I did charge it a little bit in the basement before I pull it up here. And it was connected to the solar panels for a little bit before, um, yeah, but they are pretty bad. Um, well, this one is, I have more of them. This little Ryobi soldering iron, I am, um, I need to say some more good stuff about that because it's pretty cool. I am, um, I really like that. It's so easy to just bring it up and solder something on the go here, like right now. Except this tip isn't that great. <laughs> Okay, so just before we do anything stupid, just we're gonna make sure that um, we have this connected the right. Uh, when you have a plug like this, the normal thing is that plus is in the inside and minus is on the outside. And I found that's to be true with this. So if I put the negative wire on here on the outside, um, I should get beeping here. And I do. So if I put um, it inside here that should be the positive wire 
and I should get beeping on the red wire here. Sounds about good. Then I'm gonna just make sure that they are not shorted out. Um, could just put that on there and that on there. And we're good. Cool. Just, um, yeah, it's so stupid when you have connected it wrong or shorted it up. So let's see. This is, of course, nowhere near a production thinky. Um, I am just playing around with this. So putting that on there, putting that on there. We are good to go. Shorter wires. We should get a little bit of improved efficiency because of uh, the less losses up here. It's not much, but well, it should be better. So a system board like this is a million years old. Um, I believe I have this one because it was able to do the some CN processors that I was doing in, in other videos where I put a CN processor in the system board and I, well, I am um, overclocked it. Um, so it's not a very efficient system board. Well, what this one is, uh, this is a Soltec and it has a tiny little Intel Atom processor. So it's way more power efficient. Um, it is complaining about something. I think this system board has been off forever. So yeah, it, it, it whines. I'm gonna see if I can, if I can have it run. I'm just gonna borrow the hard drive from the other one. So it's probably gonna be whining a lot. Yeah, okay. We're not gonna mess with that. That, that could take all day. But interested in how much power this uses. It uses 2.2 amps. So that's about 24 watts to run that system board. And that, well, way slower processor. So there was really no reason to have an external graphics card in, in that one because it that one has a graphics card on board. Um, so I'm guessing that it's gonna be using a lot less power uh, without that graphics card because, well, these things, they tend to use, um, oh, 15, 20 watts, I'm guessing. So I'll measure that. Let's see how much it uses now. Oh, unfortunately, it's about the same. Eh. Two, uh, just about two amps. So we, uh, <laughs> we saved 200 milliamps. So um, yeah, Nvidia, <laughs> you, uh, yeah, yeah, it was probably not doing much. So. Yeah, it's trying to fix the windows. It's probably not gonna succeed. So, yeah, that was me having fun with solar power and powering a computer from a solar panel. Just sitting on a chair here uh, and really without any good sun. So, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.